All right, little n****ers, it's time for my inevitable fucking piss on the poor flex f ass fuck up video. And it's the 4th of July, and as you can see here, we have all three beasts together to summon the soul of the devil. And uh, yeah, we got alcohol, tobacco, and faggot ass shits in front of me. And we're talking about uh, Honey Badger versus God Dig Rattler. I'll probably have to censor this one because I feel like there's going to be lots of swear words on this. But listen here, f be fair right out of the gate. That is not a uh, the honey badger, obviously. It's a sugar weasel upper, but it uses the exact same barrel as the honey badger. And that barrel is a 7 inch 1 and in 5 twist compared to the Sig Rattler's barrel, which is a 5.5 inch barrel that also has a 1 and 5 twist. So you do end up getting a couple more inches out of the... Um, shit weasel there so ballistically we're probably going to be looking at more performance better grouping and farther uh distances uh, i have yet to verify that i will try at some point because i'm uh very much withstanding the urge to shoot the piss out of everything i have into the dirt and or trash as god intended but uh yeah we'll move on to uh length comparison uh, let me go ahead and get the measure stick. You could shoulder this and fire it with the stock, or, you know, the uh, brace fully collapsed. You cannot shoulder the rattler when the stock is folded, obviously. So, we're going to compare the sizes as you can get a cheek weld or not. Because I believe that's the determining factor here. So, we're looking at 21 overall for the shit weasel. And then we're going to be looking at, I think... 23 so uh, the rattler is actually a couple inches longer when you compare them in these this configuration here the weight is something that is uh, legendary on the sig rattler it I think is going to end up being the deciding factor of me wanting to use either one of these as my main squeeze for a PDW rattler is coming in in a stock configuration at 5.2 pounds and this one is coming in at <laughs> 5.2 pounds well huh I am okay here's the deal so the rattler weighs or feels like it weighs so much is because you've chopped off that length and you've had to add all the weight for the operating system because it is a piston system so it has an extremely beefy block and all that nonsense and then the op rods and everything it's just a more centralized uh, weapon honestly than down here which is standard direct impingement so you can get away with having far more lightweight and evenly distributed weight on that now I have a SD rail coming for the sugar weasel and I've already also got the uh, cane brake rail and the Midwest Industries rail for the rattler uh, both of which I just the rail system for that the rattler and the MCX is just so stupid. I, I know it doesn't affect functionality whatsoever, but it is irksome as shit when you pay so much for a gun and everything on it lives up to its moniker and rattles like a son of a bitch. That, honestly, it wears on me, it aggravates me at some point, I have to do something about it. And so that's what we've done. We got a AMMJ Solutions 12 point three inch M lock rail that will accommodate up to a two inch diameter suppressor for the uh, honey badger or sugar weasel or whatever and uh, it's a very belligerent mounting system uh, there is going to be absolutely zero flex and there will be no zero shift uh, for any of that bullshit so we'll be running that and it'll actually end up terminating right at the end of the suppressor so it's going to look extra badass and we'll totally cover that bitch up and have room to breathe. And the rolls, like I said, I think I'm going to end up using the Sugar Weasel as like the ATV in the woods rig just so I can beat it around and not worry about shifting. Or the Rattler is going to end up being a dedicated truck gun and or laptop bag, just conceal carry. You cannot do that with the Honey Badger or the Sugar Weasel, obviously. You just can't. I mean, you could put it in a backpack or whatever, but you can't stuff it in a laptop bag like you can the Rattler. And that is a pretty powerful uh, motivating factor to be gay for it. But uh, 
Both of them are badass. Both of them are very expensive. Uh, if you get the package of the Rattler you're looking at, there's going to be about three grand, somewhere around there, a little over three. And if you were to buy a Honey Badger, it's over 2,000. I think it's like 2,500. Uh, I know the Honey Badger SD is like 3,300, which is fucking stupid as shit. That thing is just a, a dumbassery at its finest. The actual Honey Badger SD, it uses a retardedly tiny, uh, like a 1.5 inch clearance and they only have a proprietary can for it and it has contact with the inside of the rail so that is like a humongous retard moment but anyway I don't know where I'm gonna end up with either one of these but uh, both of them are badass both of them have lots of bragging rights I wouldn't say get one over the other I would say that if you prefer a lighter weight and are wanting a home defense or you know like ranch gun or whatever uh, I think the sugar weasel or honey badger would come out on top in that department if you're gonna be carrying it around a lot now the sig rattler you know you throw it in the laptop bag haven't you know go on vacation yada yada you just forget it's even there but I would not want to have it slung and flopping around and beating the shit out of my knees and my chicken legs cuz that shit hurts both shoot very well You'll get more performance out of the barrel for the uh, Sugar Weasel than you will the Rattler. However, both will perform, I think, to anyone's expectations out to 100 yards as far as just grouping and consistency on that department. Obviously, people push these shit. I saw a dude push the, the Honey Badger SD out to 500 fucking yards, uh, and that was pretty impressive. So. They can do belligerent things. Now, how much it's got when it gets there, I don't know. Probably not a lot. But, uh, yeah. That's about it.